Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm the barista here at Sam's Cafe, and today we're going to be showing you how to do a drink for May the 4th called Han Shot First. Um, it's a combination of a Vietnamese iced coffee and a Dalgona coffee. Um, so, the things you need to make it are going to be sweetened condensed milk, some Nescafe, instant Nescafe, um, granulated sugar, and Sam's Cafe espresso roast. Uh, you can also use any dark roast, but Sam's Cafe espresso roast is what we're using today, um, and that's what I'll be having. So, and we also have some Dalgona like whipped coffee that I made before this video, and that's basically what you're using. It's uh, about two, tea two tablespoons of Nescafe, uh, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and two tablespoons of warm water. You just um, blend it with a uh, pan mixer until it's got this whipped consistency like this. And there's, there's also a lot of videos on the internet um, you know, on how to do this and me kind of like a step-by-step -step visual, but today we're just going to focus on how to make the drink. So this is kind of a adaptation of um, like traditional Vietnamese iced coffee. It's made with sweetened condensed milk and then they actually have like a, it's kind of a pour over type of little coffee filter that they put over it and put the coffee in it and then pour the coffee or pour the hot water into it just like you would like a regular type of pour over but it kind of drips down into the con sweet and condensed milk. Um, we are using a Bialetti today because this is just kind of something more people have at home um, and we want to make it easy for people to make at home. And that's also just what we use for a lot of our coffee tutorials. So we're going to do like a good layer of sweet and condensed milk. This is going to come out really layered and pretty. So we got that layer of sweet and condensed milk at the bottom. And then I'm going to do two shots of espresso in my Star Wars shot glasses. in before I put the whip topping on. So I've got this Death Star chocolate ball. You can get a, or not chocolate ball, Death Star ice cube ball. I made a chocolate a Death Star out of this. That's why I said chocolate ball. But it's an ice cube bulb that's made out of like silicone that you can make an ice cube of the Death Star. So that is what we're putting in here for ice. I recommend letting it sit for like five minutes Maybe, maybe five minutes or less. It actually looks like the Death Star from Return of the Jedi right now, where it was incomplete, but we'll go with that. So the Death Star from Return of the Jedi, I'm going to put it in there. Splash the little. And then we've got a Del Delgona topping. And the reason I kind of named this Han Shot first, obviously for uh, this scene from the cantina scene where on shoots Greedo, but also um, I figure like the, in my opinion, the flaw with Delgona coffee is not just like the fat. It's it's like a dessert, you know. It's um more a dessert than actual coffee beverage. So I figured like if you put a shot of, shot of espresso in there first before you know you put the in addition to the milk and Delgona, that'd be perfect. I have lightsaber dishes at home because I'm a big Star Wars nerd. So, I'm going to put that on the tablecloth. So, yeah, that's the Han shot first. And then you can just, I, I brought a boba, boba um, straw just because I kind of thought this might be kind of thick for the foam. It might just melt. But, 
can kind of just stir this up. Like, this is what you do with Vietnamese coffee. You kind of just stir it up at the bottom and uh, mix the con sweetened condensed milk into in with the coffee. So if you're somebody who likes really sweet, sugary coffee, this is the drink for you. And that foam is sweet, too, so it's just going to be, like, really sweet and milky. I'm going to try it. That's really strong and really sweet, which is kind of what I was going for, so that's good. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, cool drink you can do if you're having... If you want to have some a Star Wars drink to celebrate May the 4th and uh, do something a little different. So uh, thanks for watching and may the 4th be with you.